Hello everybody, it is Shady here and welcome to today's Collect to Glory episode on the day when hopefully Victor Wembanyama has been announced by the time you guys are seeing this video or maybe like an hour or so after it. But today you should get that announcement because tomorrow should be the draft set. Tomorrow is the draft, so it makes sense. Last year the draft was Thursday, we had the packs on Thursday with Chet and Paolo and whatnot. So fingers crossed that's all gone to plan because today... We are hitting 3,100 cards. As you can see, we need two more cards. We're going to get those two cards in this video. And we are going to get every Hoff badge in the game in preparations, of course, for Mr. Wemby, who should be dropping tomorrow. As far as I'm aware, only two people have got this so far. So we are on the podium. We are third to this. So let me tell you, when I say I've been going insane playing this game, I'm going very, very insane playing this game. If you missed yesterday's video, be sure to go ahead and check it out because that's why we've got so much MT. We opened up four packs. No, four boxes. Four boxes of super packs. Yeah, we went a little bit mad yesterday. Pulled Invincibles, pulled Heroes. It was a vibe. First time I opened super packs, I think, in my life. First time I bought VC in four years. So yeah, go ahead and check out yesterday's episode. But that set us up nicely today to have enough MT to be able to buy the cards we need to get 3100 and then be able to sell them off because I don't want to hold these cards because I've bought a lot of Invincibles to get to this point. Of course, I'll show you guys what you need to get to 3100 right now. Bought a lot of Invincibles. I will be selling them off in this video when we collect this, we cash it in. We're going to sell everything uh, that has a lot of value because over the next week, we'll probably get Season 7 Super Packs, which will have in it the Invincibles. So... Let's go and jump into it. I've been working so hard to get here in time for Victor, and I think we've made it. So let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for the daily videos, and check out twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover for the daily stream. So we're going to hit 3100 today. Nobody is at 3150. It is impossible. I think the highest somebody is in the world is 3110. That's how close we are to the tippity top. 3150 is just 95k and still nothing at 32 and nothing at 3250. So what have I been playing? Because, you know, I completed everything in my team, didn't I? We got uh, 13 wins in co-op yesterday. Well, because everything was done in my team, we had to look elsewhere to be able to get cards. Now, obviously, you can get some cards from Play Now. You can get five cards from play now. However, this involves playing the game online, which is already a big no-no, and using like day one cards, and it is just, whoo, it's bad. So we didn't go here. We didn't go here. And that means we went to the MJ challenges, the Jordan challenge, or challenges, and I've completed them. I've, I've completed them. Um, well, I've got, I've got what I need to do. So I haven't done the last challenge, I only got two stars here. That doesn't matter. You only needed 40 stars to get those rewards right there. And of course, the only one that I was looking at was that Jordan Free Agent card. That's right. I played all of these to get one extra card for the collect level. That's how mad we're going this season. And let me say, I've been gaming, you know, I'm 28 now, which is very old, but I've been gaming since like PS1 days, I don't know, like 20 years or something. This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the most boring gaming experience I've ever had in my life because it's six minute quarters all of these games here six minute quarters apart from the shot one which is just you know take the shot um that one right there everything in the game six minute quarters you get the requirements done because you could put it on rookie obviously you put it on rookie difficulty it's job done you're done within the first three minutes of the first quarter and then for 25 minutes you're just standing there because the AI are on rookie as well so they ain't gonna score on you so time consuming, so utterly boring. The fact that you can't like sim to end when you've hit the requirements or the games just end when you hit the requirements, anything like that. Awful, awful gaming experience. But it is done. It only took me like two days because I know life this game. That is done. And for that, we get ourselves the free agent MJ. We are bidding on cards. You know, I, I need to get uh, one other card. So we've got the MJ coming through. We've got four minutes left on that Luka Doncic, which I wouldn't mind getting because that does have 60 Hoff badges. So it's basically an invincible Luka, which is why I've bid on that card. Uh, 220 for Kawhi is a good price. 240 is not a good price for Kawhi. Hmm, Kobe's in four minutes. We'll see if we get that Luka in four minutes. 
and we'll show you guys. Well, I'll show you guys what we've got. But uh, here we go. <laughs> this took. I I don't know exactly because I like just left it playing quite a lot. But I, I'd say it's it's around a ten hour grind, uh, which is just horrific. Again, that is no fun. Like literally, zero fun. Such boredom. Uh, just awful. But as you see, the free agent is now flashing, and we've got a free agent, 99 rated Michael Jordan, and he comes through and puts us at 3,099. Happy days, am I right? Oh, these are not happy days. So, we're assuming we're going to get that Luca, let's take a look at what it looks like to have 3,100 cards in the collection, and it looks like everything is done. So you've got your, your trophy case done, obviously, uh, your reward stuff down here. Again, now, now we've got MJ in there as well. Goodness me, all Dom's done. Series 1, Series 2, playoffs, all time. Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 apart from Sean Kemp, Season 4 all done. Somebody said, bro, you're missing so many cards from the Galactics. Why don't you go get those? If I could, I would. Uh, you can only get six of the pink diamonds. Three right there, another three there. You can only get six of the pink diamonds, so that is maxed out. I can't get any more than that. Season 5, completely done. Season 6, we are just missing the Luka Doncic, which has got three minutes left on it, which we might win. Uh, and then, of course, we don't have eight of these reward cards from last season. However, they will be put in the vault, not in the vault, in the token market at the start of season number eight. So we will be able to pick all these up and catch up. And then these two down here are the egg event cards. And obviously, they don't mean anything for the collect level. So these eight cards we can get. And we, we would be eight higher if we'd have grinded out last season. But last season was a bit, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, season 7, all done. Spotlights, completely up to date. Um, and then this season, completely done, apart from the RNG of Horace Grant and Michael Finley. But we did get the first half RNG of Rick Smith and Sean Elliott. Invincibles, 11. 11, goodness me. We got a Yanni, we got a Scotty Pippen, we got a little LeBron Jims. Um, I don't know exactly how much I paid for a lot of these guys. Uh, picked up a Jason Tatum as well. We've got Magic, AD that we packed. We've got Mello, picked up a Hollow Westbrook. Um, we've got the Steph that we packed. And we've got a LaMelo ball as well. And then also an Endgame KD. Yeah, I know. A little bit strange to have uh, scooped an Endgame card, but. I got him for a half decent price, going for like 340, something like that, uh, which is kind of what he's going for right now. But he was going for like 400k, so picked up uh, Endgame KD as well. So that is what you've got to have. So on the table for me, we're going to count that we've got Luca, and that'll be our 3,100th card. After that, there's seven Invincibles I can buy, and that's like it. There's seven Invincibles I can buy. We could get lucky with two RNG cards, which would be nine cards. We can get these eight cards next season, again, in just nine days' time, uh, which puts us at 17, doesn't it? Quick maths, hopefully. Uh, puts us at 17, uh, and then, you know, we, we we could try and go through the play now, which give us another four cards, which puts us at 21. Uh, hang on. So we could have 21 more cards, um, which, is, which is actually quite good. That would put us typically top number one in the world, but that involves playing, play now, which is just, I've done, you guys have seen what I've done this season. It's been nothing short of um, psychotic. We've done the 250 wins here, the 100 wins here, the 50 or 60 wins there, 6,000 points here, 100 wins here, the five rings over here, all of the spotlights that have currently been released, um, all the skills challenges, all the Jordan challenges. We've got a little bit mad, but play now might be a step too far for even me. Even me. So here we go with a Luca. Now the reason it's got such a big bid on it is because it's an invincible Luca. It's got 60 Hofferinos on it. And I kind of wanted to buy like good cards so that when we resell them, we get, uh, you know, we maybe make some profit off of some of them. And it looks like that just went through. Let's go. Luca Doncic, 60 Hoff badges, comes through. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit every Hall of Fame badge pack. Every Hall of Fame badge. Let's go. We have got just three levels remaining. Oh my god. Three levels to go. And then it is over. Goodness gracious me. Right, let's quickly, now that we've just got him, <laughs> let's send him out the door. All of these guys are now going to be sold. 
Um, they will get sold before the announcement of Wemby tonight, so hopefully I'll have timed it relatively okay. We'll sell the AD that we got as well on Steph and Lamello. And again, the reason for this is because next Tuesday we'll probably get Invincible, uh, or like Best of Season 7 Super Packs, and Invincibles will be in there. Who do I want to sell here? So, uh, 48 Hoff Badge Nikola Jokic can go. No, don't lock it in. 53 Hoff Badge Tim Thomas can go. 60 Hoff Badge Luca can go. And a whatever ball ball that was. 51 Ben Simmons can go. And a 39 Yao can go. Yeah, I'm not going to put that up to 40. 39 Yao can go as well. And I believe that is all the players that I want to sell. Obviously, you've got this Yao here. He's worth 100k, but I think he's fine. Again, Trace McGrady. Also still worth 100k, but again, I might as well hold on to those guys. They're not much more than 100k. Am I okay with that? Yeah, because KG's crashed now, isn't he? So, uh, yeah, let's get all of these dudes up. Uh, that is good. Oh, my goodness me. We are going to cash all of that in tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be a little bit tasty, isn't it? That's going to be very nice. We've got the 2 million MT right now. With all of this going... Uh, I mean, we did have... 5.7 obviously we're going to lose some with uh with tax we're going to lose probably quite a lot of tax but you never know some of these we might make profit someone will probably just make a loss on it naturally um let's just hope that it's not too much of a hit but there we go look at that goodness me that's a lot of cards sold but the reason that i wanted to push so hard to get to buy those cards i could have waited of course i could have just waited two hours today and then i've been able to got the spotlight player which would have counted as one more player. But the reason I wanted to do that is we could sell all those players before the announcement tonight, before people maybe start doing a little panic when they see that Wemby is on the way. But we know. We know. Unless they don't do it, but we should know. So here we go. Every Hoff badge in the game. 64, the biggest Hoff badge pack you will see. And we get two of them. Um, I don't know if you guys realise, but... On the ladder, sure, it goes up to 3,250, but then there's a group reward as well for completing it all, uh, which gives you another badge or another pack with every Hoff badge. So if you're completing the Clates level, you get uh, well, 128 badges. You get every single badge twice, um, which is kind of crazy. So we'll be able to badge out Mr. Wemby, and then we're going to have another hit of, uh, of badges for somebody else, whoever else that may be, maybe Invincible Taco rolls around. Maybe Invincible, Invincible rolls around. Uh, maybe they drop an Invincible Minute Bowl. Not that he needs one. Maybe they do something like that. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to have options, which is awesome. Again, we, we want to try and recreate some of that magic. That's all we're doing. We're chasing the magic that we had early on in the year. Obviously, we're never going to hit those heights again, you know, selling cards for five, six million MT, you know, absurd amounts. We're never going to get back to those glory days, but we can still have some fun with it, can't we? We're going to try to anyway. If it doesn't work with Wemby, it won't work with anybody. But here we go. One page, two pages, three pages, four pages, five pages of Hoff badges. That is beautiful. Every single Hoff badge in the game, 64 Hoff badges. Oh my goodness me. And there you go. You can see there, complete the group to earn 64 more. Uh, so how many cards have we just sold? What have we gone down to? I probably sold, what, 15 cards there? I just realised I could go over the auctions and it'd tell me how many I've sold. But, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So we're down about 15. Uh, but again, we don't need to buy those cards back. 17. We're down 17. So we're on 3,083. We are indeed. We won't need to buy these cards back until next Friday, which is the start of Season 8, which is when I believe this will be attainable. I think it I think it will be able to be finished next Friday, day 1 of the new season. I think they'll make a if they even do a blog this season. If they do a blog, I think they'll tell us what the reward is and I think they'll make a big deal about it, a big song and dance about it. And I think on day 1 of season 8, I, I don't know what it's going to be, but they'll release like a set of a couple hundred players. Again, I have no idea what they could do uh, because you can't do like a current day set now, can you? You can't do like a playoff set now or a heat check down range. You can't do any of that now. So I don't know what they're going to do, um, but I'd imagine something is going to be uh, something has been coming on its way. So as long as we're ready for next Friday, we're all good. And again, by next Friday, we'll have had Super Packs on Monday or Tuesday, probably best of, of Season 7. So all of these Invincibles here, the Endgame or whatever, 
will go down in price. And obviously all of these guys will go down in price naturally with another week's worth of depreciation and with, uh, you know, another end game coming tomorrow, another couple of invincibles. And of course, a little certain someone called Victor Wem Van Yama. So there we have it, guys. We've got 2 million MT in the bank. We will have a lot more million MT in the bank by tomorrow. And we've got every single Hoff badge in this game. And we've completed, like a psycho, the MJ challenges. And now the only thing that I can think of I've got left to grind is maybe draft. Hear me out. Maybe draft to try and get a free agent pack to try and get one of these free agents. Play now to guarantee myself of getting a free agent card if we actually can win enough games, which <laughs> I have my doubts. Uh, and then playing borderline endlessly um, to try and get ourselves the RNG cards. That last option is probably the least, uh, the, the one that I'm dreading the most. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to go co-op, try and get Horace Grant from it, because surely it can't be that hard. I think Michael Finley is a goner from offline. I think that is a no go. But there we have it, everybody. Yesterday was a mad video. And today, I've been 3100 cards. And I am exhausted because those MJ challenges, again, I've gamed for like 20 years of my life. The worst things I've ever done. Very sad. Zero out of ten. Definitely, definitely, definitely would not recommend. But that is going to do it for me today, everybody. Make sure you tune back in tomorrow because tomorrow, again, should be Wemby Day. And if it is, those Hoff badges will be going to use. So please like, subscribe. I will see you next time. And peace.